Welcome to our beautiful camp spot in the Walmart parking lot. So Nathan and I are about to do something we've never done before. I'm really excited about it. We're going to ride a ferry. In the van. In the van. We're crossing from Plattsburgh, New York, over Lake Champlain into Grand Isle, Vermont. Probably won't be in Vermont for very long. From what we read online, this ferry runs 24-7 and only takes about 12 minutes to cross. Head north toward Consumer Square. Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. I've never done this before. Did we just kind of line up and... Yes, sir. You can call everybody else down to the water. All right. Can I choose any lane or just go to four? Right. If you want to do me a favor, actually, and go to lane number five, please. Five, sure. Thank you. Okay. Lane number five. Got our boarding pass. Never thought I'd get one of these on this trip. Nope. I think this semi just came off of that boat. Come on. Okay, I do not feel nearly as nervous anymore. Further research, as tourists outside of the region that Vermont is allowing tourists to come through without quarantining, we really shouldn't be here. So we're going to hightail it through Vermont and head towards New Hampshire. We're going to go to another state park. But first, breakfast. Cheapest parking meter I've seen in a long, long, long time. One of my favorite places to go on road trips is to get a big old breakfast at a diner just like this. I got the homemade corned beef hash with eggs and coffee. I got the fish and chips. That's usually my go-to. It's my absolute favorite pretty much anywhere. Corned beef so good. Most diners, if they say that their corned beef hash is good, it still comes out of a can. This is definitely homemade. Get a little egg in there. Mmm. Nice and meaty. The eggs are cooked really well. And a side of cinnamon raisin toast. It's delicious. Really hot. Really hot. It's very good. Flaky. I actually like the crust. It um, it holds. It doesn't just flake off and break apart. We were gonna try to hike again today, but my legs hurt so bad. I think we're gonna wait a little bit on that. I wanna enjoy the hike and not think about how much my legs hurt. My legs aren't sore. White Mountain National Forest, we have seen some of the nicest free campsites ever. Probably seen about 20 to 30 of them, and every single one is taken. It's a little after 8 p.m., and it's not looking too good. This 
might be our last attempt at trying to find a campground, but now we have to drive like 32 minutes. Turn right onto Owl's Head Look Highway. Look at the sunset. never noticed by how dark it is out, but it's only just after 5 p.m. There's definitely a storm on its way. It already sprinkled a little bit, but we have left the rest stop in Maine, and we are now making our way to Acadia National Park. It's, how long is the drive? Hour and 53 minutes. We got an hour and 53 minutes, and we'll be sleeping in the Walmart parking lot that is just outside of Acadia. Turns out there is very little to no free camping available just outside the park, so that is something to be mindful of if you're trying to go the cheap route. The hat's forward. It's business time. Those gas prices. your plan. So we are just outside of Acadia National Park. It's currently like 9 30 p.m. and the plan is to catch the sunrise tomorrow. The sun rises at 5 a.m. With everything that I read we have to wake up around 3 30 tomorrow morning. That's like five hours from now. Yeah 3 30. I gotta go to bed. I'm not I'm not a good go to bed or sleeper earlier. Or... Uh, I'll be fine. I'll get up at 3.30, no problem. <laughs> we don't have high hopes because we know that there's a storm that just passed and there's supposed to be some fog. But regardless, we're going to go for it. 